New Bedford's Feast of the Blessed Sacrament made an historic move over the weekend. They are now allowing women to join the Madeira Feast Committee. 12 News reporter Valerie Moravi has more on this milestone. Valerie. Well, it's been a long fight for this Madeira woman. They said women have been the heart of this Madeira feast for decades. Everything from cooking, planning and volunteering way before this vote. <laughs> Someone texted us the, the vote count and we were like, is this right? And then we got it from a couple of different people and we were like, oh my God. And we were jumping around, crying, hugging each other. For years, Jane Gonsalves says oh these Madeira God. women have been prevented from serving. Thank you, Dad. This is my heritage too, as a Madeiran woman. And I've always been prevented from serving in, in a full capacity where I had the right to make to take, you know, to take votes and to make suggestions and to plan the feast. The vote to change the bylaws was overwhelming. Tara George has been volunteering at the Mandata feast since she was 17 years old. She says tears came to her eyes when she heard the news. I was overjoyed that this is done, that we've finally been able to, you know, get membership or have the ability to become members. My great grandfather was a member and my grandmother, this was something she was never able to do. But now this generation of women will be able to carry on the legacy and serve what once was an all-male club. I'm super excited about it. I feel like it was a long time coming. I feel that um, people were able to put their personal um, beliefs aside, knowing that this is the best thing that could happen to the club. It's a completely different capacity and my great grandfather, because he served, his face is on that wall. Um, Jane's father was vice president of the feast. His face is on that wall. So now we have the opportunity, once we serve as fish is to eventually have our face join our family members. For now, the next step is to get all women on board so they can transition and start planning. The first official meeting is scheduled for May 5th. In the studio on Valerie Moravi, 12 News.